All right, so you created the app. You said it took you about eight months uh, for it to to be finished, or at least to a point where you wanted to go live. Um, when did it first go live? February fifth. February fifth. Yeah, oh. that's when I I, I targeted uh, my release date to be in Black History Month. Mm, okay, that's that was pretty much. <laughs> But that's crazy because you already got a couple thousand uh, <laughs> followers or uh, users on it already, just based on what I've seen on your uh, on your profile, right? I believe you had like mm-hmm. thirteen, fourteen thousand followers. Uh, so the fact that you was able to get that many followers in what three weeks? I got two hundred two hundred and sixty thousand users. Two hundred sixty thousand users. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, All right, yeah, man. So let, explain that, man. Like, 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 how are you able to to, to get so many users? In I such a short amount of time. I think with the way I marketed to be real, like I can't. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you seen some of the videos on the page. Like that was just a a, a different way to market a social media platform. We live. What's happening, family? Uh, my name is Tyler. Yes, sir. And it's Darren checking in with you. And this is Uncharted Mind, right? The show where we talk about life, health, and wealth. Man, today we got a super, super dope episode for y'all. Hey, big one, big one. Yes, sir. This might be, <laughs> this might be the best one so far, bro. I'm going to go ahead and call it before we even start. Right, you know, the biggest, like, the biggest. Telling you, man. And, uh, <laughs> and shout out to you, bro, for coming on because you know, we've been having an influx of female... Uh, Interviewees, we're mm-hmm. trying to get some testosterone in the room, man. So I appreciate you for coming on. <laughs> yeah, appreciate sure. you for coming on and agreeing to do this. But yeah, man, hey, real quick, man, so we can get into the episode. Uh, this cat, man, this cat is doing something that people of our color don't do, don't do too often, sure. anyway, right? He's one of the first, if not the first, um, mm-hmm. person in his field to do what he's doing, right? Uh, I don't want to take his thunder. I'm gonna let him speak on it. Uh, <laughs> But without further ado, man, Raven, Raven, uh, is it Wilson? Yeah, Raven Wilson. Hey, man, introduce yourself to the people, man. Let them know a little bit about you, where you're from, name, well, they already know your name, but where you're from, and then uh, a little bit about yourself, background-wise. Okay, well, of course, my name is Raven Wilson. I'm from Albany, Georgia, uh, okay. 229, the area code. You ain't never okay. heard of uh, the greatest. <laughs> we made the greatest. Uh. Okay. I'm a six-year <laughs> army vet. Uh, I graduated from uh, Columbia College for an associate's degree. I was a non-commissioned officer in the United States Army. Yes, sir. Big Sergeant. Uh, yeah, Big Sergeant, man. Big Sergeant. Uh, <laughs> with the battle bro on here, Tyler. You know, oh, yeah, I for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hello, vet. Uh... I got several healthcare certifications, uh, certified uh, green belt, Sigma Six. Uh, I don't know. I can go all day. Oh, my man, I got the certs. <laughs> hey. you know okay, that? well, let's get into this, man, because, you know, you created an app. You created right. a whole social media, bro. Like, that's, you know, cats can have their life on social media nowadays, right? All right. You created one. Um, tell me, First off, where where do you know like like how did you start, bro? Like like how how do you know where to start when when doing something like that? And then what gave you the idea to do something like that? Uh, well, what gave me the idea was I worked on a project with a family member before that was working yeah. on a social media app uh, that was similar to MySpace. Mm-hmm. He wanted to do like a MySpace thing, so gotcha. okay. he, he had the whole idea. We worked on a project. Things ain't go right with me and him. So I ventured off and I did my own thing, but I wanted mm-hmm. to make a social media application that involves everything. I was mm-hmm. trying to stay, I wanted to stay from working on the last project. I wanted to stay away from the, uh, dealing with the music because of so many copyright issues and things like yeah. that. It was a dope idea, but I didn't, you know, I wanted to stay away from that because I didn't want to face legal action of people trying to sue me or 
anything like that. So uh, with me working on that project with him before a couple years back, it still sat in my mind like, you know what I'm saying? I want my own social media platform, but I want to involve everything. I want people to be able to post pictures, videos. I want people to come in and be able to like post mini blogs, what's on their mind. And I also wanted to incorporate a safety feature on the application for social injustice and uh, police brutality. And like missing children and missing women because that's just a big, uh, it's just a big problem nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. in the 21st century. So I said, if we're gonna, if I'm gonna do an application, I want to put a safety feature in here, and I want to make sure that people feel safe when using the uh, the social media platform. Even though everybody been like taking advantage, uh, taking it, taking advantage of the black light and just pressing it. A lot of people don't really know what it's for. Uh, I'm coming up with a tutorial to actually, you know what I'm saying, show them exactly why it's being used. But, I mean, that was really the background of me used wanting to create Ramsey. Like, we, I felt like we needed our own network, our own avenue. We should be able to conduct business on a site that's preferred for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's not, and I don't ever want to get get it mission screwed with people. Because people always think, since I'm always screaming and hollering black on that is for blacks only, and that's not true. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I served in the military just like you did. We served along races and cultures of all kinds. I sure. screamed black on to encourage and empower our culture. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty much it. It's more like the background of why I started it. Now, what all rounds to do is a whole nother topic. That's a lot. Hey, we're going to get into that, man. We're going to get into <laughs> sure. that today. Yep. Hey man, so honestly, I haven't heard. I had, I didn't hear of the app until like a week ago when Tyler uh, let me know that he had secured an interview with you, man. Uh, so when did you first establish the app? Because it's fairly new to me. I don't know if it's been around, but when did you first establish it? Well, I, I've been working on this application since uh, summertime of last year, twenty twenty one, since June. Uh, oh, okay. I got my LLC. Mm-hmm. I actually drew. The design of Ramsey, like I drew it. Mm-hmm. I'm not an artist, so don't get that confused. But <laughs> I, drew, I, I wanted the look. I want the format. I drew like the little stories, the trending section. I drew out like the timeline, the bottom portion of like his voice saying Like I drew the whole thing, even the like the Ramsey room, like to the mm-hmm. best of my ability, the way I wanted to look. Mm-hmm. And I put the blueprint together of how I wanted to operate. I got okay. with a team of developers. And I told them, this is the project that I want, and this is how I want it. It was supposed to be an eight-week project. It mm-hmm. turned into almost eight months. Because <laughs> I just mm-hmm. didn't instill anything. But when you're dealing with social media, it's so many. It's so much to it. And there's so many things that can be added. And it's you can always perfect social media because it's always things that you can add on to it. Because there's mm-hmm. so many different people. You got so many different people. You got so many different personalities. You got so many businesses. You got so many ideas and mm-hmm. a lot of different things that want to be shared, you know. And another reason why I incorporated it too, because I want us as African Americans to explore our entrepreneurship side and business on the side. Like, you know, if you if you create a regular profile, I encourage you to create a business profile as well. Yeah, no matter sure. what you're doing. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is like this is our new way of networking social media so i just felt like it was just gonna be a you know a a big move for us yeah okay yeah man that's dope for sure that's dope man super dope man and and it's like because a lot of people have the idea man but it's like the the action that comes after the idea is where people struggle at man so like what what uh i mean you said you and your cousin had was working on a project before um Mm -hmm. How did you find these developers, man? Like, did you, did you like Google search them real quick or like, was it somebody that you knew that was already in the space of developing apps? Like, how did you find these developers? Yeah. Uh, it was just somebody that I knew. I know a couple of people that develop apps just with me working with my cousin, you know what I'm saying? I asked gotcha. them to different people and I, and when, and even when you bring it up, you know what I'm saying? People come up and say, Oh, well I develop apps or I do coding or I know people that actually do it. So, it it all goes back to networking. Yes. Mm. It all goes okay. Back to networking. And most of these people that you find help work on the app are they black also, or are they different races? Do you uh, try to like kind of employ 
Just black people. Okay. I got you. I got you. Um, yeah. and then also, yeah. man, like, <clears throat> where do you uh pull like your ideas from from the app? Because I was kind of skimming through the app. I haven't had a chance to really, you know, deep dive into it. But I see aspirations, you know, in the app from you know different other social media apps. So how do you pick and choose like what features you want to add to the app and which ones you don't want to use? Uh, well, I mean, with that, I just brainstorm. Like, I I catered mm-hmm. it to. I mostly thought about what you guys are like, and I'm saying you guys just like people in general. Yeah, like, right. okay. So, you know, people love to make many blogs. They like they love to just like say what's on their mind. People mm-hmm. love to post pictures. People love to post videos. People love to post their stories. You know what I'm saying? So I took some of the basic functionality of a lot of these different social media that's utilized the most, and then mm-hmm. I incorporated it into one. So okay. as far as those, that's where that came in. Now the different touches, like I got a night and day mode from 6 a.m. to 5.59 p.m. It'd be, it displays a white background for day okay. mode. From 6 p.m. to 5.59 a.m. It displays a uh, dark background, black background for night mode. You shake the reshuffle the timeline. Of course, the rounds of the room is different. So I incorporate a lot of different things that'll make the app a little more trendier too. You know, because I coach, mm-hmm. you know, people are going around shaking their phone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I like the fact that after six o'clock, rounds are going to be in dark mode. You know what I'm saying? So I, I added things to keep people's attention. On the application, because the biggest the biggest thing is your users. You know what I'm saying? You most keep yeah, your gotcha. Okay, so well, that's dope, bro. Uh, I, I do have a question though. Um, do you have a background uh, at all in like developing or uh, like coding any type of app technology yeah. at all? Not the first. You see, uh, just see as much as y'all do. See, <laughs> and, and that's crazy, man. I, I like that. I like that because you know it shows people, man, that 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 you really only need the idea. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And you need some creative thinking to to get started doing something like this, man. So, uh, nah, that's dope. All right, so you created the app. You said it took you about eight months uh, for it to to be finished, or at least to a point where you wanted to go live. Uh, when did it first go live? February fifth. February fifth. Yeah, oh. that's when I I, I targeted it, uh, my release date to be. And Black History Month. Mm, mm, okay, that's that was pretty much. <laughs> but that's crazy because you already got a couple thousand uh, <laughs> followers or uh, users on it already, just based on what I've seen on your uh, on your profile, right? I believe you had like mm-hmm. thirteen, fourteen thousand followers. Uh, so the fact that you was able to get that many followers in what three weeks? I got two hundred two hundred and sixty thousand users. Two hundred sixty thousand users. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy! Oh, no, totally, All right, yeah, man. So let, explain that, man. Like, 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 how were you able to to, to get so many users in I such a short amount of time? I think it was the way I marketed to be real. Like, I came. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you seen some of the videos on the page. Like, that was just a uh, a different way to uh, market a social media platform. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, I, I think a, a lot has to do with my personality too, and like the ambition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just how you guys yeah. reach out like, well, shit, this dude here doing this. You know, this right. is kind of big, You know what I'm saying? So people kind of caught mm-hmm. the attention of that. And most people these nowadays are visual. You know what I'm saying? Like people like For sure. Oh, for sure. We know that. <laughs> I was like, well, let me put together these different things to draw in the people, like to make people wonder more about the app. So I came up mm-hmm. and I created like different plots and schemes as far as how I was going to advertise my social media platform. It was something big. It was something different. So I felt like it should be presented differently. Gotcha. Okay. Did you already like kind of have a big social media presence before you created the app? Was it, so was it easier to kind of push it on your own? You know what I'm saying? Um, if you already kind of follow Facebook, I do. Uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. my following, I mean, it, it's okay, but I'm a known I'm a known person, you know what I'm saying? I didn't just, okay. like, I, I wasn't no, I'm not like a philanthropist or, you know, someone that gets on. I just started speaking more once I uh, released the app because I know people mm-hmm. were going to want to talk about it and know more about it. But as far as that, no. Uh, but, I mean, I did use social media a lot, just like normal, you know, post stuff. I oh, travel yeah. and, and go places and, and do different things. So, 
I mean, that's what I normally would post and, you know, do things like that. I just really started speaking uh, publicly when this when I released the album. Okay. Okay, bro. 260,000 people, bro. Yeah. In three <laughs> weeks? That's they crazy. Cra- yeah, they were crashing the server. Yeah. That, it <laughs> that's been, crazy. I like yeah, I heard it. Like, yeah. I feel like it would have been, if the, if the server and stuff didn't crash, I feel like it would have been a whole lot more. Like, it probably would have been a million. Like, we, I had number four on the charts. Right up on the Facebook, but it's mm-hmm. a new application. Okay, so for like, you know, everybody, everybody in the money nowadays, of course, you know, that, that's what runs the world, right? So, uh, you know, all these other platforms they have like ways to monetize. Okay, um, so for like, have you like implemented something on your platform in order to allow people to monetize people who own businesses or you know influencers, um, or is that something that's coming in the future? It's on the way. It's on the way. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely on the way. It's definitely on the way. What did it take? I, my biggest goal was to have the application stabilized for people not going to want to, you know what I'm saying? People want to have, I want to give people something that they can actually have that's working and it's stabilized and people are actually engaged in it. But mm-hmm. Gotcha. Uh, I have a couple of uh, ideas that I'm going to uh, implement as far as for people to make money. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of them I don't care to share like publicly right now because cool. I have cool. it, it, it's coming, but it is gonna be way. It's gonna be, uh, of course, I'm gonna have ads on there. You know what I'm saying? You go okay. your business on there. Of course, yeah, that'll okay. be a way uh, for us to monetize the application. But then it's, gotcha. it's gonna be the way for you guys to grow your yep. business. Just how Facebook and Instagram offer ads uh, in the financial literacy section. I'm going to have people that's big on financial literacy, like Earn Your Leisure and a couple more of these platforms that teaches us as a culture how to expand uh, uh, our financial literacy. So I'm going to have them come in and they can actually charge the users to get in, to come into the financial literacy and unlock uh, the different events that they have and showing them how to monetize it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. that'll be one of the way. And then of course, once the application goes public, uh stocks uh are gonna be able to be purchased and once we get the the adequate amount of users, of course people who bring a lot of traffic to the page or people who are philanthropists or public speakers, they're gonna get paid just how the yeah. other social media uh pays them as well. And I got a couple more ways, like I say, I wasn't gonna share that yet because the other social media apps aren't doing it. I don't want them to try to, you know what I'm saying, try to jump on it before okay, I... Okay, yeah. Try. Hey, hold it, man. Hold on to it now. Yeah, for sure. Hey, we with it. <laughs> yeah, man. It sounds like you a one-stop shop, man. But So what's the process of, like, getting in touch with these advertising process, companies, you know, such as a Google, you know what I'm saying, to try to get well, them to you contact, know, work alongside uh, you with your app? Saying, Have you begun that, the, began the that process? Is or? Contact me. You know, once it, especially once it to a, a certain height and People start using yeah. using it uh, more frequently, which they are now. But once it, you know, rise a year or two, hopefully sure. they'll be contacting me, say, "Hey, we know this is mm-hmm. uh, a new hot social media platform. Can we advertise on it?" Because that's mm-hmm. what most people gonna want to do. Like when they see something jumping or they see something that's hot and brand new, they gonna come find you. You ain't gonna really have to go find them. <laughs> They'll come find you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, for sure. Hey, and another question, real quick, Tyler, is um, so what's the process of getting uh, you your app like, a, listed on the, for Apple, the Apple, Apple Store, Apple store Apple like account, Google Play? I don't know if you, you your app is available on the Google account. Play Store yet, but what's the process uh, of getting the app listed? iPhone is $99 per year, and Google is just $25 one time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, list that you okay. know, you're a developer. You uh you have to go to a uh, go through a phase and process of uploading the application. Mm-hmm. They have to see okay. if the application is permittable to go on the store, and if it's permittable, then they let it go through. So it's a whole review process that you go through. You know, they have to accept you on both ends. So you do one for Google, then you do one for Apple. So how long did that process take? Like from start to finish, you uh, you created the account. And then from them approving and listing your uh your app on the app mm. store. Apple ain't take nothing but forty eight hours, uh, mm. and okay. that's 
that crazy because they you they used to take longer. But yeah. I it they, it got on fast. Uh it took about a week for Google. Okay. Mm. So both pretty fast still. Yeah, both pretty fast, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't just a, a super long process at all. All right, so let's dive into the app a little bit more, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, I got it right here. I got it open. Yeah. And, and it's a lot of stuff I like about it. Uh, and we're going to talk about that emergency so, feature oh. again. Uh, <clears throat> but one of the things I want to talk about is the Rams room. The, the Ramsey Ram room. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the Ramsey room, my fault. Uh, and you, talk, you spoke about the financial literacy and all that earlier. But can you really speak on, like, the main objective for this room? Is it for, like, See the main uh, people? The man oh, a lot of, a lot of people are uh kind of confused on it. That's why I just made a tutorial video and it's crazy that we're talking about it because he just my uh the person that actually did the video just sent me the video. It's done, it's complete now. But the rounds of room is for is when social media meets the real world. That's why I use that slogan. So mm. it's supposed to be for the users to go up and set up events. And it's just a bit more organized. You know how you scrolling down your time. I say, are uh, you moving to, to Charlotte? So you go down yeah. to Charlotte. You knew to Charlotte. You don't really know what's going on in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? So most people scroll down their timeline or their hashtag, and they just try to find what's going on. But around the room, if you already already follow people in Charlotte, or you might, you know, start following people in Charlotte, you can go into the rounds of room and pick a different tab of what you want to do. So if you're looking for a day party, you go in there and you can see like the several party promoters in in uh Charlotte showing these different day parties. And not only they So is that based on like real quick, I ain't trying to interrupt you. Is that based on like the person you following that's in Charlotte? Or is it like if you in the area you're gonna see all these events? No 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 it's just the people that you follow. Okay. All right. So cool. you have you have to follow these that's dope. people because if it if it was for everybody then you know it'd be too much, it'd be too many. You it would it yeah, would yeah. organize as organized if it's you were just following mm -hmm. me and, and Daryl, you know what I'm saying? But if you follow gotcha. everybody, you know, it, it would be chaos. So I, I tailor it to uh the people that you follow. So you can see what's going on around you. But mm -hmm. I, I'm going to upgrade the rounds of the room and add a couple more mm -hmm. uh, options on there. I want to put black on business businesses on there as well. That way people can yeah. promote their, their businesses on there and, and people that want to just support the culture can go in and, you know, tag on these different black, black on business and you can actually mm -hmm. see what's going on. And then now you've got the discover section, the map. These events on the rounds of the room show up on the map. So you'll be able to pinpoint and see exactly where they at. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Because uh, I think my partner just, uh, he hit the alert. I need help button. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> it, it came across my timeline, bro, and I saw exactly where he was at, mm, okay. man. So I think that, that that's dope, man. That's cool. Um, that feature. Yeah, I know. It oh, definitely man. worked. I did. It I definitely worked, man. <laughs> and, see, and see, that's, that's, that's that's oh, what wow. I okay, it worked. <laughs> yeah, that, that, you know, you can't talk. Or, well, I didn't know what the button talk, was for. I was just talk. clicking around. Or you in a situation okay. where, you know, <laughs> if you make any sudden movements or anything like that, your life can be in danger. You press that button right there, everybody around you going to know that you need help. They're going to know where you're mm -hmm. at. So if they can't get there, the police can get there. Anybody can get there, and it can, mm -hmm. can potentially prevent anything from happening or save your life. And it's in, it's in a dope it's in a dope location too, man. Um, I don't know if they can see it. But it's in the bottom left, the green, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Y'all, y'all hey, make sure y'all mm. y'all hop on the app, man, because it, it's real dope, man. Interface is real, real easy to use. Uh, you know, I like I like the features you got going so far, man. Um, outside of what you've already spoken on, yeah, for sure. What other upgrades? Well, what's coming soon as far as upgrades? That you that you feel okay with speaking on, um, uh, but the secret stuff keep it to yourself. But something yeah, that's coming soon. Uh, a share button is coming. Live mode okay. uh, is coming. Live mode gonna take a little bit longer, but that's a, a bit lengthy <laughs> process. Uh, share button reactions to comments. Uh, uh, I want eventually music is gonna be added to the storyboard. I got some special coming for the message center. I ain't gonna speak on mm -hmm. it, but you guys gonna like that. Okay. I'm gonna update the message center where you'll be able to send like pictures, voice recorded, uh, like 
all the same features that you'll be able to do on the other social media apps. So the message center is going to be up, low, updated. The storyboard is going to be updated. You're going to be able to put uh, stickers on your stories, words, music. Uh, I'm just going to bring it all the way up to date. But, like, it's a process when it comes down to these applications. Of, you know, you can say that you want to put something on there. When, As far as you going through the process, you, you just can't put it on there and then publish it. You have to go through test cases. Like, you have to be oh, ran sure. a lot of times to make sure that it's, it's functioning correctly. Before you get back to the public, so that's coming. Uh, the rounds and room is going to be updated with a uh, with a couple more tabs that you guys can go in and use. Uh, it's going. I'm. A, I got a lot of more business uh, tabs coming. Like I say, I want our side to to start exploring that more. You know what I'm saying? Get into yeah, that sure. out of their entrepreneurship side. So that's coming. Uh, Job listings coming in around the room, so people that's people that's you know trying to uh, people that's looking for jobs or people that have jobs available for people will be listening okay. there, and then you'll be able to go in and 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 find a job or fill out an application form and you know time, date, location, and picture and place of where the uh, the job fair might be going on or the interview might gotcha. be going on. That's something to help us out. Okay. That's dope. Okay. All right. So let's, let's say like uh, us as Uncharted Mind, we had like a uh, course or something that we want to offer through the app. What kind of process will, would that be to I guess get in touch well, with you it, or it the developers like about the adding that course the, the to the, the app be a and you know what kind of you know agreements or as as like contractual you know so things you would have you want to do it if, if if you're trying to monetize it of course you would uh you would do it in a certain tab now you see mm-hmm. how all these tabs are unlocked right now a couple of them are going to be locked and that's going to be for uh that's going to be for the users who are trying to monetize that section. So, like, I need to live see one. It's going to eventually be locked. Uh, job listings is going to be locked. Uh, mm, and a couple okay. more that I'm going to have. Well, probably one more that I'm going to have that's going to be locked for people that's trying to uh, monetize the site or people that's trying to find out information that's going to help them grow financially. Yeah. But it's going to be a it's going to be a quicker way because you're going to have like direct access to that person yeah. versus the, versus the, mm-hmm. you know, you going through a regular mm-hmm. application okay. or you're or you sure. trying to get in contact with somebody through a site that don't actually check it. You know what I'm saying? But if, if the user who's okay. posting this information is making money, then they're going to make sure that they are on top of responding or getting with whoever else. Okay. Yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. Uh yeah, I see you put a lot of time into to thinking about what's going on and actually making the shit come about, right? So I, I appreciate you for doing that, okay. man. It shows yeah, I like that, man. Uh that thinking is cool, but the action, the thought with the action is what creates the the product, man. So uh, you know, five to ten year plan, man. Where, where you see the Ramsey app in five to ten years from now? <laughs> the number one social media app on the market. Let's get it. Talk to him. Yeah. Talk to him. You heard it here first, man. Okay. You yeah, said yeah, it. Cause you had got up. You had you got up. You said it on Uncharted Minds. So, hey, we all see it happen. Uh, we broke the news. Yeah, I, hit, I got good. up in the top, what, 10 or something, right? At one point? Yeah, I hit number four out of 200. Like, I was the I, only one that was above me was uh, Facebook and Truth, Donald Trump app. Mm. So, it jumped up. Like, the app, like, it's the shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it's the shit. <laughs> Had that issue, that server issue, because mm. I wasn't expecting that many people. Hey. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. I was expecting that. <laughs> Maybe a year's that time with me yeah. moving extremely fast, but two and a half weeks. You know what I'm saying? And I really appreciate, man. I really appreciate like the culture. I really appreciate my hometown. Chicago mm. was a big influence on it. Like Chicago really stood up. My hometown really stood up. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta stood up. You know, it's a, and and not even those cities, yeah. like most other states. 
Like all of the mm-hmm. states, you know what I'm saying, really stood up. You know what I'm saying? We even yeah. uh, somebody wrote me today on rounds from Nigeria. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Like the people man, stood global. Up, man. Yeah, the people stood up, man. I'm I'm like so appreciative for that. Like I'm very, very appreciative for that, you mm. know, because they chose to like work yeah, with it up, and man. stand behind it. And then like <laughs> I really had like I really have like real deal supporters. Like I really yeah. have people that just like regardless of what's going on with the L, like they stand out with the L and I just like I, I really appreciate that man because they want us because they feel yeah. like it's theirs, which they should, you know what I'm saying? Because right. it is like, created, I created it for us. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't nothing that was just created for me, it was created for us. That's why I, I sat down and thought about it a lot on what I wanted to put in there because I want you, just how Daryl was thinking, well, if I want to do something with Uncharted Minds, how can I monetize it on this app? Or how can I get my podcast out on this app, right. on this black on social media as well? I know I can capture a lot of people because of, you yeah. know, the site they don't use. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I thought yeah. about like all that. Like, you know, I want people to grow, man. I want people to like be successful in like everything that they do or that they want to do when it's positive. You know what I'm saying? Because that, sure. that have a, I don't know, it just, it makes me feel good on the inside. Like I like to see other people win. I like to see other people mm-hmm. be happy. You know what I'm saying? I like for other people. Yeah businesses and things to like uh thrive. Sure. And why why not create an outlet that can, you know what I'm saying, help boost them like all the way. For sure. And uh, but I, that's dope, man. I'm glad you. I'm glad you. Mm-hmm. You said that about. Uh, I'm glad you said that about. You got people who support you, man, and they patient with you and all that because that's what it takes. You feel me? Like I feel sure, like man. we less patient with our own people and their businesses. Then we are with other races, see? Yeah, then we, then we are with other people of other races, man. So, like, you know, uh, I like to see that people are patient with what you're doing, man. Yeah, I was uh, just about to dope. say it, boy. Uh, <laughs> Speak on that's it. how growth happens. Yeah, I want the user of the guy. You know, I want the user to feel appreciated, man. You want your customers, like, even with y'all doing y'all podcast, like, you want me to feel appreciated for coming to you. <laughs> right, okay. To, to right. talk to your thing. And, and that's the biggest thing, like, running a business, like, it's, it's about the people. Like it ain't even, you know what I'm saying? It's not even, yeah. it's not even about you. It's it's about it's about the. Not, I'm not saying you as a person, your business. It's nothing if if you're not, you know what I'm saying. Promote positivity or having people to actually, you know what I'm saying, use your application or whatever you're promoting at the time, or whatever you're using, or whatever you're doing, whatever your business is. No, for sure, for sure. Hey man, so what advice would you give? Um, you know, young cat, I don't know, uh, eighteen, nineteen years old. On he thinking about what, what kind app. of application? Um, that, like, what's uh, what's the initial steps that you would advise for him to, to go so about this doing? This kid that? is trying to uh, develop. Uh, I mean, because it it comes with a lot. I would definitely tell them to uh, focus on. Uh, I would tell mm-hmm. them to first focus on what they want to do, like plan it out. Like, I'm a, a big planner, and it probably comes from me, like, being in the military or whatever, but planning is something uh, big that I, uh, mm-hmm. that, I, that I do as far as, like, doing anything. So my yeah. first thing, for the first step that I would tell them to do is make sure that they plan. Like, you have to plan ahead of time. Uh, you put the plan of action together. Uh, you put a blueprint together and then you uh, execute. Number one thing I would say is, is you know, talk to God before you do it. Like, make sure you pray on whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? I pray okay. around to every night. You know what I'm saying? Even up to this day, even with the, the success that it has now, right. you know what I'm saying? I still thank God for that. You know, I want him to be in charge of what I was doing and what I was putting out. Another thing is, uh, it's big. Another thing that I would say is, cut your distractions out. If you're gonna work on something, if you're gonna work on anything, not even just an app, you have to cut certain distractions out. Sometimes you have to let go of certain people. You know what I'm saying? Certain things that you normally sure. do in order to get to a situation. But as long as you yeah. have it planned out, as long as you got a blueprint. Of what you're doing and you're not scared to execute it you can do it 
first thing is you gotta believe in yourself. Before anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Before these people believed in me that I could do it, I had to believe in myself and be like, well, appreciate it, man. Regardless of what you might think, yeah. somebody else might think, or what you might think that you can't do it because this is somebody else's lane or the people of your color or the people of your culture ever did it. That doesn't mean that you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody regardless of whatever skin color you have, you everybody was born with a brain. You know what sure. I'm saying? You don't live without a brain. So <laughs> mm-hmm. you get the same twenty four uh hours in the day that I do. So it's all about what you do with it. You know, confidence is key. <laughs> confidence is key. So I like that man. My man, listen, my man, my man, I left us yeah. with some game. Um, <laughs> my man, I left us with plenty of game, man. Million sure, dollars worth of game. Man. Shout out to the boys over there. Hey, man, I just, uh, you know, oh, ahead, my man highlighted faith. Mm-hmm. Of course, man, you got to stay prayed up in anything you do. You know what I mean? I feel like that should go without saying, but we got to keep saying it. You know what I mean? You got to stay prayed up in anything you do, man. And of course, man, that consistency and that confidence that you spoke of, man, that's mm-hmm. what's going to, you know, uh, drag us to that success that we want uh, so badly. Um, man, listen, this interview been, been real dope, man. You know, I appreciate you coming on, bro. bro you got something for him, bro? Before you leave, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I just want to say I appreciate you, man, and what you're doing because, like, you're real big inspiration to me. Like, I always had an idea of maybe creating an app one day, but I was like. I don't think that's really possible for us. You know what I'm saying? But now I see you, you know, you, you right from you, not too far from where I'm from. You get what I'm saying? You doing it. So that not only inspired me to, that I could do what you're doing, but also do, you know, what we trying to build here with the uh, podcast, man. So, Hey man, just keep grinding. We definitely going to support yeah, you. Man. We on the app. We're going to push okay. it on our socials and everything. Man. And get your uh, users that, up. Uh, hey, hopefully, hey, you know, save us a little spot on the app as well, man. Up. That's the new way like, like, <laughs> that's the new radio That's the new like that's the new like T V commercials or, or T V ads like oh, yeah, it's like that's something that's growing, you know what I'm saying? In the twenty first century. So you yeah. y'all more definitely in the going in the right direction, man. I wish sure. you mm-hmm. much success, man, and, and and good luck in all your future sure. business and dope. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, man, I appreciate it. Stay with it. Appreciate it, man. Hey, so real quick before we let you go, man. Spell out the app so it's clear, you know, so hey, people know that, what man. exactly to download. Sure. So they ain't downloaded some some random, well, you know, white dude stuff. Uh, go ahead and spell out the <laughs> go ahead and spell out the name of your app real quick, bro. Um, and then also plug in all your socials uh, if they want to meet, you know, uh, <laughs> get in touch with you or you know get in touch with uh, your social medias, uh, other social medias. Go ahead and plug all that stuff in, man. All right, well. Well, the app name is Roundel, of course, and it stands, it's an abbreviation for Royalty App Member Superior Experience. The spelling of it is R-A-M-S-E. I'm going to say it again, R-A-M-S-E. On your local Apple Store, and you can find it on your local uh, Google Play Store. Um, gotcha. My Instagram information, okay. my personal Instagram is I am Ramsey underscore one. Uh, gotcha. This page is at Ramsey App. Uh, Facebook business page at Ramsey app. Uh, of course, the Ramsey tag. I am Ramsey underscore one. You know when you down, <laughs> you add your guy. There you go. Uh, Ramsey official is the business page on the Ramsey app. So those are the ways you can, uh, yeah, okay. you know, find me. And I do post yes, bi-weekly sir. updates <laughs> uh, on the. The Ramsey Facebook page, on um, all my personal pages. So that's another big thing I try to do. I try to keep the user up to date on what's going on because you know a lot of people be having questions like, "What's going on?" Like, you know, when is this coming? When is that coming? So I try to keep them up to date. Got you. Hey, there you have it, man. Raven Wilson himself, right? Uh, Ramsey app creator. Uh, I mean, you you slick a developer, bro. I mean, you you you, you had an idea. Sorry. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there, too. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, CEO of uh, Rams app, developer, uh, vet. You feel me? Shout out to 
to, to my guy for service, yes, you know, alongside me uh, yeah. during the same time. There you go. Oh, uh, but yeah, man, listen, we appreciate you for coming on, man, and, and you're welcome back at any time, man. Okay, y'all just let me know. For sure, man. Hey, listen, if you got this far in the app, <laughs> or if you got this far in the episode, man, make sure you pull out your phone right now and download this app, man. You know, this, this for the culture. And, and, and this, sir, this app, I'm, I'm telling you, once it gets to a point to where uh, my man wants it to go, it's going to be better than every other app out there, man. For sure, man. Should have so, been had it. You know, make sure y'all take download the time, now. download the app, create, a, uh, create an account, share it on your current social medias, and have other people follow you. Uh, and before I leave, hey, listen, my sure. uh, at name on Rams app is Tyler Worthen, right? Simple. U-I-L-E-R-W-O-R-T-H-E-N. Make sure y'all follow me. All right, man, we out. <laughs>